Again, Mr. Johnson, yeah. you are known to me now. You're yeah. going to keep it clean. You're not going to use profanity. We've I'll had move. almost, we had this whole meeting with no profanity. I'd yeah, like to not start. Yeah, okay, I'll move. I'll move. three minutes. All Thank right. you. All right. Thank you, Nigel, for having me speak. Thank you for everybody out here. Thanks for Hudson Gill. So I'm going to start this right here, like I said before. Eric Botcher, Tony Simone, Brad Hoyman Siegel, Mark Levine, um, all these uh, corrupt organizations that's behind this situation, they all have to be voted out. We have to vote out Miguel Acevedo, the tenant association president. I think you guys know about yesterday with the whole situation with 70 members of NYCHA being arrested for bribery and extortion. You really think that Miguel is really part of this too? I have a big feeling he's part of it. You people need to just call the FBI and the DOJ and call for investigation of Miguel Acevedo because he's part of that. And eventually very soon he, sh he should be arrested for being part of this stuff because you people are suffering because of the situation happened yesterday. With that, with the with the bribery terms, the contracts, all that's about is with the pushing you guys out a ratted pack. Do not be deceived about when they promise you free, um, better flooring and cheaper versions of refrigerations and furniture. It's all a scam. It's just to rip you up. It's just a justification to get you guys out your apartment. You guys need to, to fight back. You people have the power here. You people have the votes, especially the city council race with Eric Botcher. Eric Botcher is beatable. He could be beat at any time. He's a vulnerable candidate, and, and Tony Simone is vulnerable too. I think you people need to get together and find a candidate to run against these two and vote them out because they're the biggest two. They're two of the biggest problems in your district. They're down with Open New York for All. They're down with Transportation Alternatives. They're down with the developers. they all Union Strong, Labor Strong. Look it up, Labor Strong 2023, Labor Strong 2021. They are down to displace all you people. The unions do not care. The only thing the unions see with you guys are jobs, jobs, jobs. The job is going to be at the sake of you guys being displaced. When that happens with the jobs, you guys will be kicked out. And once those places be rebuilt again, you guys and gals are not going to be back let in. You know why? Because the rents, they want to be, if you guys are paying about, let's say, $400 a month in rent, they want these the same use you're paying to be making $5,000 or $6,000 or $10,000 a month in rent. That's what they want to be, be spent a month. I know the majority of people here cannot afford $4,000 a month to pay in rent, or $5,000 is $10,000 a month, but that's what they want, the, they want those preferred people in. They see you people as eyesores. They see you people as the anchor of the district. I don't see you guys as the anchor of this district. I love all you guys here. I want you guys to stay. I'm from Brooklyn. That's why I came out here to, to help each other, to fight with you guys, because I really care about you guys. I really do. These developers, they all care about the money. The unions care about the money. They can't pay about the developers. And I'll tell you one thing in the last 20 seconds. You people have to be careful of these organizations like the Residents to Preserve Public Housing and Save Section 9 that act like they fight for you guys, but they don't. They take money from the developers, the same developers, to keep you quiet and to keep you thrown off from the real what's really going on in, in, in New York City and with your developments. So we have to save NYCHA. We have to fight back. We have to find candidates to run against these people all levels, and they got to be, be voted out. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you.